Hi, everyone. I hope everyone's having a good night. Erin, we'll see how this goes. Hi, Erin. Hi. I invited Carla as well. We're honestly not 100% sure if we can have three people at once, so we're giving this a go. Okay. <laughs> so let me see. Hold on. Hey, Carla, if you are unable to join, can you write that in the comments so I know? Hi, Emma. You guys are dealing with the non-technologically advanced over here. <laughs> Very first live for all of us. <laughs> okay, she's unable to join. So, okay. Aaron, I'm going to pop you okay. out. Actually, if you hit the X on the top, and then we'll get back to Aaron. We're going to do this one at a time. Okay. Hold on. All right, we'll just, just let Carla come in. I'm here. So I don't know. I don't know if Aaron couldn't get if I couldn't get on because Aaron was on, or if I just didn't get the invite. I don't know. Oh well, let, let me try Aaron one more time. Sure. So sure. Aaron, if you're watching, I'm just gonna try you. If you are allowed to join, great. If not, then um, then I'll I'll pop out later. Yeah. Hold on. Where is she? Well, we got a lot of people joining us. Yeah. We already have 117 people here, so this is going to be fun. All right. Now I don't find Aaron, so we'll see. Okay. We'll just start with right, us, and then I'll, I'll pop out. You'll pop out. Yep. So, hi, all. <laughs> it's pitch black out here. Yeah, it's pitch black here, and we had snow today. So. Well, we're getting snow tomorrow. Well, Fun, yeah. We are to yourself. It didn't stick, but oh, somebody was from Iowa. Who was that? I missed it. It's scrolling so fast. We have so many people coming on that. Oh, somebody said we're brave. <laughs> we were pretty nervous. <laughs> we may have done a couple of practices. Yeah, just to figure out the buttons. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I'm from Seattle, from Iowa. Oh my goodness, we have 125 people, so we'll just see, keep going. We are so excited to do this, and you guys will really be excited to um, meet Aaron in a little bit, too. So we'll have to figure out how to invite two people after we do this one. Yeah, now I'm not even seeing Aaron's name for me to invite, but hopefully that figures itself yeah. out while we chat. We'll get and it. And then we'll switch. If not, we'll have another live. <laughs> just Aaron. <laughs> Who knows? This might be a thing from now on. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to watch these comments in case we get any questions or anything. So, um, all right. I've, we're kind of steady at 129. I think, yeah, so we thought. We'll go ahead and go. I, I think we should go ahead. We thought what we'd start with is just kind of talking briefly about some of the other stitch alongs that Carla and I have done. Uh, this is the third year that we've put together stitch alongs and everyone always seems to like them. So we thought, let's keep going. Yeah. So Carla is going to kind of talk about the other ones we've done in the past. Sorry, she has the charts to hold up. Yep. I have some finishes to hold up. So that way we can both be showing you things at the same time. Yeah, so those those of you who don't know, Helen and I have been working together for, I don't know, four and a half years Probably at least. Like five years. Five years now. And uh, we've become really good friends. And like she said, three years ago, we decided, or I don't know whose idea it was, but we said, maybe we should do a stitch along. And you had said, you know, hey, I, I didn't know if there might be something we want to do for a stitch along. What are you planning on stitching this year? Because it's at the beginning of the year. And I said, well, I was going to do Erica Michaels seasonal berries this year. Yep. And you said, there we go. go. Oh, and that was a really good one. So the first one we did was, um, well, this is, we did actually spring berries. 
you did we, yes. we kind of announced it as spring berries by erica michaels but we ended up doing there's four berries seasonal berries spring summer winter and fall or autumn i can't remember and it was a really good um stitch along because it was a unique finish so helen got to do a tutorial afterwards on how to finish the berries but this was our very first one and we just we didn't contact um linda stoltz the designer for erica michaels and we just kind of did it and we, we ended up having about 300 people participate and we were ordering charts like crazy so it was a lot of fun and um um, we had the pin sets that were available and we just kind of went with it. We had to keep reordering charts and reordering charts. And then um, I, I love that she says we, but I didn't do anything. It was all <laughs> oh my gosh, you see this? She says she has thanks to you guys. I have 12 fully finished berries. Me wow. too. <laughs> do you really? Um, says is anyone else having trouble seeing the live is anybody else having trouble seeing the live i'm not having trouble it might be i, I don't know if that's if it's everybody then chime in so that one we in we think we had about 300 people participate and it was a lot of fun a little bit chaotic but it but it was really fun so then we're like that worked really well we should no problems. Okay, good. Um, we should do another one. So Helen chose the next one again. I, I usually let Helen choose them because she's the one that's going to stitch them. And that was Strawberry Fair by um, October House Fiber Arts. And this one was so much fun. Um, we did again. Did not contact the um, did not contact the designer. I thought you did on this one no. and started ordering them just from right from her. We, we did. We did. Well, I ended up ordering from multiple places, but I did get in touch with Robin after it went kind of crazy, and she was wonderful. So the designer for October House Fiber Arts is Robin Sample, and she is just the sweetest sweetest person and absolutely she when i needed to reorder she would just ship out immediately so we were able to keep up um the biggest problem we, we didn't know again we didn't do the form where people submitted their interest um and then helen had another finish and the funny thing is is that after this um sale was so popular Robin initially did not plan on doing a series with this and she the way I understand it and then she ended up coming out with what does she have now um pumpkin fair honey, honey fair, fair and pumpkin then fair. vineyard fair was the market release so oh look we got three people yay Hello. hey Erin Thanks for. I'm so glad we now we know how to do this. <laughs> I think Robin did have plans for a series. We just okay. happened to get the we finished one. this one up yeah. right before market when she released Honey Fair. Yep. So, so that one was really fun, and we ended up having just under 300 people participate in that one. Um, also, so after that, um. <laughs> We were like, we signed we, up a little. We, yeah, we we needed to be a little more organized because Helen's channel was growing pretty substantially, and um, we also wanted to start reaching out to designers and see if we crossed our fingers, see if they would make a design for us. And so our next one was Jan Hicks Creates. We reached out to her right before market last year. And she designed Tranquility for our stitch along. And this time we did the form like we're doing um, this time where we asked you guys to submit whether you were interested or not. And that really, really helped because the biggest issue, we can always have more charts printed and everything, but the floss is you know, do the dyers even have it dyed? Um, so we were able to get a count and we reached out to, I think she used three kinds of floss, weeks dye works, <laughs> general arts and classic color works. And I yeah. reached out to all three floss dyers 
and said, this is what we think we're going to do. Um, do you think you'll have these colors in and all that? Oh, Tranquility was my first sound. Great. Um, and so that got us a little bit more organized. And Jan was really good to work with. And we had about 230 people that signed up for the form. Usually people sign up for the form, but then everybody sees us stitching or sees Helen stitching. <laughs> and we get more people after that. So after Tranquility, we did Pedal Pusher Freaky Fair Isle which is this one. And Helen, can you explain how this was a, a chart that was for a retreat or what was it? Barbie had originally designed this and did an exclusive at Galleria. She usually goes to Galleria and I think she kitted up like 25 kits. So it was 25 people had it ahead of us, but we were, it was basically an exclusive. Right. So she put this together and then Chantel of 141 Designs made, it's not, it has a base, but I store it flat. So she made this board and I finished mine on the, on, on the elusive black perforated paper. That was the issue with this one. Um, so mine is on a magnet and it's on this little board. Yeah, thank goodness we did this sal before Teresa Colgate came out <laughs> because our sal would have been a disaster had she come out with those ornaments before this. And As it was, we When were she came out with those Santas and was like, I'm having a hard time with the perforated paper, in the back of my mind, I was going, oh, yeah, I bet you I are. Don't, I don't we didn't need a fraction of that amount. <laughs> the other thing that was really fun about this one, it was stitched with, um, what was the? Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet. Weeks Dye Works Ultraviolet. And in 20 years, I don't think I'd ever sold a skein of Weeks <laughs> Dye Works Ultraviolet. And I had to order, I don't know, uh, 300 skeins. A lot. Because then you like, needed two skeins. Yeah, you needed, actually, yeah. So I probably had to order 400 skeins of Ultraviolet floss because we ended up having about 240 people sign up for that one. Yeah. So that was another one where we reached out to the designer and we did the form. So yeah. that brings us to this cell, which Helen had met Aaron at market or I don't know. I met Aaron um, when we did the jingle ball. We went to the jingle ball and Sunday, Aaron happened to pop into a room that I was in with a bunch of the main girls and a couple people from other places. And we were in that room all day. All day. <laughs> people would come in, they'd pop out, they'd do a load of laundry, they'd pop out, they'd have lunch all day. We were in that room. <laughs> so when Carla said, oh, well, what do you think for this year? I said, I bet Aaron would do something. Uh, she right so. away said, I'm going to talk to Aaron and see. And I was like, oh, God, do you think she'll do it? And, and she, she did. did. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> of course. So, Aaron, we will now turn it over to you, and you can tell us about this year's. Okay, so this year's is Bee Farm. Look at that finish. Isn't that just okay. amazing? Yeah, so this is finished on Paisley and Polka Dots. Um, be hot five and Helen has one that she'll be finishing hers on. Yeah, it comes Unfinished. in a whole bunch of pieces. Yes. <laughs> With very good directions. Very, very good directions. <laughs> yes. Step by step. Colors recommended for her finishing. I'm gonna have a tutorial video, like Helen said, if all um technical things go according to plan. <laughs> So I did film um, when I finished this, and I'll have a list of the paints and stuff I used for it. But I, I just can't believe, not only did you perfectly match the floss color, which Helen and I were talking about that, that you had to, you had to mix paints, right? But the crackle effect that you used is yeah. just amazing. Yeah, so yeah. I'm really anxious to see your um, tutorial. Perfect. So that's a special kind of finish or paint or what yeah so you do one um coat of paint first your undertone base paint and then it's a crackle paint on top and then your final top coat paint yeah, so it is three just, 
three Just coats amazing. of painting, but it's totally, listen, I'll show you the back here where you can really see the yeah. crack. Now, of course it's, you don't have to, you don't have to finish no. it this way. You can finish it with whatever you kind of, uh, whatever way you want. And we yeah. do want to answer if you have any questions that now they are, things are scrolling by pretty quick for me. So if yes. you don't, how much skill is needed for the painting? I hope it's <laughs> minimal. <laughs> Well, honestly, it's be too because of the crackle. You can, you don't. This is. It does not have to be um, like a perfect paint job, right? It's meant to look worn and weathered, so mm -hmm. that helps with it. But it's it's super easy. You lay out your pieces, one coat of paint, let it dry. You come in with the crackle. You do that. Um, you let it dry for an hour, and then you just come with your um, finishing top coat color one quick swoop of it across you don't want to go like back and forth with the crackle you just have to do one application nice and smooth and then it's it'll dry and it just a your acrylic um craft paint so it dries quick um we had a couple questions yeah. the board is called the beehive yeah. hut beehive and it's hut. from paisley's and yeah. polka dots and yes she does know that we're using this yes. so <laughs> Yeah, we yeah. Con we've learned to contact <laughs> everybody <laughs> ahead of time. Um, so I don't know if everybody who's watching has already filled out the form, um, but we will after the video post. Um, Helen, I think you can put a comment with the um, live feed. I'll figure if not, it out. <laughs> if you want, if you want to sign up and let us know you want to join us. Then, if you go to Cobweb, my my profile on Instagram is Cobweb Corner, and in my bio there's a link, and the form is in my um, link tree, so you can sign up um, sign up on the form. Now we pretty much have a good count. So drum roll. So the past we've had, the most people that filled out the form was 300, about approximately. As of today, we have 430 people who have filled out the form to join the Stitch Along. So we are just ecstatic about this. That's so awesome. I have been ordering us all. And another thing about the thing is it's not going to be super expensive Stitch Along. The no. chart um, during the Stitch Along will be $7.15, and it only uses nine skeins of DMC Floss that are 77 cents each. So that's really pretty reasonable. And then um, you'll need to provide your fabric. Um, with 430 people participating, it's just impossible to have fabric in all the counts and all the sizes and stuff um, and get that. Everybody knows how hard it is to get fabric in quantity. Um, well, and the good thing is with this, it finishes to what? Just just about five by five? Mm -hmm. It's a, So this is um, 70 by 70 stitches. Um, on the i did it on 28 count um and it finishes to five inches by five inches now i know carla had said people were wondering about the board for other mm -hmm. counts so this has the board does come with the um wood backer here i just painted mine black um but you could cover that with um paper or fabric or whatever you could also leave it off too because you you don't see a lot of it at that size um so mm -hmm. if you were doing i cut out some sizes here for other counts for everyone oh good job <laughs> <laughs> so this is our 16 or 32 count to give okay. you an idea so that would show more of that backer if you were using it um and then that finishes at uh four and three eighths of an inch and then we have i'll po do a post that shows this too if that's helpful for people this is 18 or 36 count and again you could leave this backer off and just do your own like mat board backer if you didn't want that much of a um, border around it mm -hmm. and then if you were doing 20 or 40 it gets pretty small but again, you could shrink this and then you would see more of the um, beehive hut too, which is really, it's really pretty. I, um, it, I actually, when I, I'll post a picture of it without the um, backer on it too, because it does have like the way she's done it. She, you've got these little boards are all separate. 
So I've sanded the edges so it kind of gives more that worn. If you had this sh um, shrunk down on a smaller count, you would actually see more of that detailing. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. And it's just, it's such a pretty. More. Here's the top piece. Yeah. So, and you can. And, and then somebody was asking about the honey drips. These you can, because you're building it yourself, you don't have to put them on. You can put the, your bee anywhere you want. Mm -hmm. um, so you could, if you wanted to put it on the actual board down here, you could anywhere. Um, the ones here are just to kind of cover this i didn't paint that joint but when you put these legs in they have a little tiny joint that's it's not as big as this one it's probably about half that size that shows here and here so oh. that's just intended to kind of cover that to give it like more of a streamlined finish mm -hmm. so if you didn't want the honey on there you could leave it off and i also painted my honey um with like a metallic gold so if you wanted something that wasn't quite as like glitzy, you could definitely pick um, a more muted color for that too. Yep. So. And this of course would look great framed or the flat finish. Um, if you don't want to purchase the, I think the, what was the kit? Um, 18, I believe it's $18. And yeah, someone did ask, someone did ask if they get that through you, Carla. And no, the no. boards are all from Paisley's and polka dots. Yep. And that um, we will put that information. Um, I'll have it on my website where we order, and Helen will be talking about this I on have, her channel. Yeah. We'll all be talking about that. But it's um, what it Paisley and Paisley, Paisley and, and polka dots. And polka dots. Yeah, say Paisley and dots. And I'm like, <laughs> and, that is not right. <laughs> on my post and stuff, it's all linked there. Um, I have a my floss tube up where I go over more about this and show it. So if you want a better look at it. Um, and it's all linked through there too. So you can click and get linked to it. And then Carla's linked as well. So you can um, find the form for signing up. Yep. Before Carla, I know I see this question, but a previous question, mm -hmm. um, the called for fabric. The called for fabric. I. You can use anything. You the can use anything. Fabric. I got this one when, I'm, when I, I stitched up on um, Light Taupe Lugana 28 count but you can use whatever you want. Um, it would look great on a gray, mm -hmm. um, even like a light green, it would look nice on, or even if you had like, if you wanted to go with more purple, you could um, pick like a light lavender. Uh, there's, yep. there's just like Helen said too, there's just the one white flower here that you would want to make sure um, shows up, but anything vintage country mocha um, is always a good go-to. It is um, B5200, so it's generally a pretty easy one to get to pop off of yeah. any neutral fabric. I had never tried the light taupe Lugana, but I know you use it in a yeah. bunch of stuff. And I ordered a piece, and I started uh, the baking tier, your baking tier yes. chart last night, and I was like, no wonder she always uses this light taupe Lugana. The white shows up great. It's such a good neutral because um, your bra like generally browns show um, your whites. Like I I haven't found a color that has a hard time on it. It's a really good go to. Yeah, the stone gray or light taupe that'll be that'll be yes. anything anything. And yes. you can always do a floss toss before you start and make sure that everything's going to show up. Um, we had a couple other questions. Um, I think we should, should we go into the specifics of how it's, how it's going to work. So we, sure. but before we do, let's answer that question about the PDFs. Yes. That's what yes. that was part of it. So yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yes. PDFs. <laughs> um, whenever we do one of these, like I told Carla, when we first started deciding to see if someone would do something exclusive with us, I said, we need to have a PDF because I don't want to have something that we're inviting people to stitch if they then can't get it. If they're in Canada, as Aaron is, if they're overseas, right? If it's not available at a shop by them, um, I want to make sure that people can get it. So Carla will have PDFs and she will have printed copies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the PDFs will be available from Cobweb Corner through May 7th, which is plenty of time. So the, the basic dates are um, we've, pretty much um, are done soliciting interest. And like I said, we had about 430 people so far. Hopefully some more of you will join us. 
Um, and I've got all of the materials, actually the floss just arrived today and um, I've been printing charts like crazy. So I'm getting ready and I'm stuffing in the cello bags, but I am going to the Steel City Stitchers retreat on Thursday, this um, two days from now. And so I'm not gonna open up sales on my website until I get back from that. So the official sales date of when you can start to actually order your chart and floss from Cobweb Corner is April 9th, Tuesday, April 9th. Um, if you filled out the form of the interest form, then um, you'll get an email from me um, sometime Monday night or Monday morning or something saying, hey, sales are gonna open up. And then you can place your order and you can order the floss if you want the floss. And you can order you can order all of the floss or you can order just two colors that you need, whatever, or none, you don't have to. Um, the PDF will be available. The chart, the printed chart is where, it'll work like all of Aaron's charts. So when Aaron offers a PDF, it's offered in both a black and white um, chart and a color chart. And that'll be the same. If you purchase the um, if you purchase the uh, PDF, you'll get the black and white and the color. If you purchase the printed, it will just be the black and white version. Is that correct, Aaron? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So if it's a, a printed chart, it'll be just black and white, and then PDF comes with both the black and white and the color chart included. So you can choose right. which one you want to work off right. of. Right. And then I'll ship. As, as fast as I can possibly ship. Of course, if you order the PDF, it'll be an instant download. Um, but we have about, right now, I think we're sitting at about 170 people want the printed copy. So as those orders come in, I will get those out as fast as I possibly can. It'll probably take me three to four days, but you'll get a, you'll get a notice, you'll get an email when your order is shipped and we will not run out. So um, you don't have to worry, you know, I'll keep ordering floss, we'll keep printing charts until the sale is completely underway. Um, so you don't have to worry about, you know, hurrying up and being in there at eight o'clock on Tuesday morning or anything like that. Um, and then the official start date is when? April 23rd. April 23rd to actually start stitching. And we can't wait to see everybody's, we really hope if, if you're, you know, on obviously the people who are here are on social media, but we really want you to share your progress and we can't wait for those of you who do order the Bee Hut, we can't um, wait to see how you paint it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how it turns out. We're yeah, really you can excited. do it. Any color you want. So um, Julie has a list of paints in there that she uses for like a yellow and brown finish that would work for it too, but if you wanted a purple hat, you can do that, whatever you want. So I can't wait to see what um, everybody does. Erin, yeah. would it be possible? I know that when you're putting your tutorial together, you'll have a list of the paint colors. Yes. Would it be possible to post a picture of those on your Instagram yeah. just for people that want to try and yep. beat the rush? Yeah, what I'll do is I'll them out? After, um, I'll make a post tomorrow that shows the um, hat just as is i think i have one i when i finished it without the black backer on there um i'll post a picture of that and then i'll post a picture that has the exact um colors that i used and i got them all from michael's um in canada but i'm sure they're available and if not the exact colors um similar in okay. the u.s yeah. right yeah i can yeah. tell you my joanne's didn't have them all no <laughs> Boy, we're but they were a little low on everything, everything in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, and for those of you who don't know, if you don't know me, the, the, the chart will be available at cobwebcorner.com. That's where you'll be able to get both the PDF version and the printed version for the stitch along. After that, after the stitch along is well underway, like I think we said May 7th. May 7th. Then oh. Aaron's going to be releasing this um, globally, you know, to all the shops and everything. But this is going to be something we can do as a community and share and stitch together. So I think it's going to be great. Um, the other question I had from people on the forum was, um, how do we order? That'll be at cobwebcorner.com. And then can you buy other things at the same time? Yes, it's not going to be, you're not going to be invoiced for the chart. You'll just go in and 
add to your cart and, you know, uh, place an order just like you normally would. So if you want to add other things, you can. Um, thank you for using DMC Floss. Yep, that does, it really does help with the budget. And that is part of Helen's, when we do yeah. this, we do try to limit the size. We want it to be a quick stitch, um, relatively mm. quick stitch. Um, and we want it to be as inexpensive as possible. We really try to have things that people can go to their stash and find um, fabric. And we try to limit the fancy flosses. Um, we kind of, what do we say, Helen? Keep it under nine colors or keep it under 10 I colors? Say, try and keep it under 10. Yeah. And then, you know, if, if there's some little bits that don't need to be a fancy floss, don't use the fancy Yeah. <laughs> some but the little... DMC is nice for you too, Carla, because it's, you don't run out. It's easier to get. Yeah. I and we don't have to worry tree. so much about running yeah. out. I ordered from Yarn Tree and they shipped it yesterday and I had it today. So yeah. if, if, and if you do go to my site and something, something is out, like a color of floss, just wait a couple days to place your order and it will, it'll be back in stock. I will keep everything in stock as quickly as I can. Um, Did so, anyone else have other questions yeah. just as we're talking? I'm, yeah. I'm trying to keep track. I think have we covered everything? Does any if anybody has any questions, this would be the time to to post. So I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Helen. Aaron, I know that you also not related to the cell, but you just released your lavender charts. Yes. Are they kind of this, like the oh, same floss colors? They are. Yeah. So they would matchy matchy. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That, yeah. Yeah, that I is thought it really, when you guys asked, I had already had those ones designed and I had this um, idea of doing a bee because that one's sort of more the fl the florals, the honey. And I'm like, I need a like, big, beautiful bee. So that's where this one kind of came from was to play off of that collection. So, Perfect. yeah. Someone just said, is there a time limit? No. Never. We never we, have a time limit. We don't have a structured... <laughs> No. We start at the same time. That's the only structure. And then I'm not going to break it up into chunks. Mm -hmm. um, I try and pick something smallish so that if you want to take part, taking part in the sal is fun because everyone gets excited. But personally, I want to take part in the sal and move on. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. that way I can do the chart and then start something new. So start with us on the 23rd. Some people will finish in a couple days. Some people might finish in a couple months because they're not working on it, you know, all, all the time. So, yeah, there's no set end date. We just kind of all, it's more of a start along than a stitch along. Um, got a, I had, kind of, of, there was a question about the, it, if there could be a PDF of the painting finishing instructions. Is that what you mean? mean it's missing missing a stitch is it possible to buy a pdf of the fully finished um hut it's expensive to order in europe i don't i'm not sure i'm following whether you want a pdf of how to finish it or a pdf of how to make the hut because the hut would that would be pretty hard to do um yeah so i don't think a pdf of the actual hut would be would be possible but you'll um, have but you'll have a tutorial of how to do the finish Yes. Um, which is unfortunate for our international stitchers. Um, would uh, the la any lavender charts fit the B finish kit? Um, we're putting you on the spot now. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just trying to see here. One sec. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> or purple. Oh, oh purple. <laughs> um, she um, showed I, I bought the crackle paint and it was just a crackle finish um like aaron will post that picture tomorrow that has what it is but it was like a standard crackle finish that they actually had at my hobby lobby uh, not my hobby lobby at my joann's even though everything else was like picked over they had two bottles of crackle finish so i picked one up that one the Lavender honey that I released would finish. Um, I've got it finished on this style of board, but you could finish it square. Oh, it would fit on that board if that's what um, they were referring to. Um, we had another question. Where did it go? We do have, have um, other like 
honey and bee themed patterns that are like 60 by 60 that would fit that too if they're looking for like versatility with that piece um i have like a fresh honey and the bee kind they're both 60 by 60 so you could get um if you're thinking about wanting that as a versatile switching the piece in and out mm -hmm. um here i piper girl have... oh, go ahead Aaron. I'm sorry. oh sorry i have i do have the paint stuff still right here the crackle somebody was asking about the crackle there's mm -hmm. other brands and stuff but it's just a crackle from michael's do we need the giant bottle or will the small bottle be <laughs> no enough? the small bottle <laughs> i i painted i painted um the hut my market fresh sign here um the big carry and i only used Good, because so. I only could find a small bottle. <laughs> yeah, no, small bottle for sure. <laughs> uh, we just had a question if they if we could talk a little about ourselves and how we started cross stitching. Well, first of all, we have a question before that from way back. Piper Girl twenty twelve says, um, "This will be my very first stitch along. Do you go live every so often while it's happening?" This is our we first do. live. <laughs> We but this is our first live ever, so yeah, we have yeah. it. And it's, but it's kind of fun. It I is. Getting, I'm getting addicted <laughs> to this. Um, but Helen does do, um, uh, she, she is very strict on her schedule of floss tubes. So she's every two weeks, every, every other Tuesday. Yeah. And she always does updates. But, you know, maybe we'll do a quick live especially one thing that might be kind of fun is doing um soliciting photos of finishes oh. um, and then yep. doing a slideshow oh. of different finishes from people so if you guys have ideas of what Carla, i can barely figure out how to do the live now i have to do a slideshow i can probably figure out the slideshow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll table that for now so all right um can i what ask what crackle paint that that is needed you just showed that um no the actual missing missing a stitch no the actual oh the actual wood the paint. woodwork yeah um something at hobby lobby i do woodwork oh missing a stitch is still asking about the pdf for the um finished hut you would have to you would have to contact um paisley and polka dots about that i can't i can't answer that i don't know um we don't have any kind of um pdf or template for the finishing hut so i can't answer that i'm sorry but um tell us Aaron is putting that. together the tutorial to show how to do the painting yes, right and that way if you had a different right if you're if you're not in the u.s and you found a different finishing board that was unfinished you could yeah. use the same techniques same technique, for to sure finish, yeah finish, to finish yeah. well chocolate um, yeah or, someone go ahead Oh, this, we had a question about talking briefly about how we got started stitching. Yep, go ahead. I feel like I've always stitched my mom <laughs> and my grandmother, the age old, my mom and my grandmother. <laughs> so they kind of showed me and started on plastic canvas, making a whole barnyard of farm animal plastic canvas magnets. Very classy. <laughs> I learned in 1980, probably 83, in college my college roommate came back from uh christmas break and she was doing stitching and i'm like what is that and it was uh, my first book was the um precious one of the precious moments um yes gloria Glo gloria and pat what i think so gloria and yeah. pat is that what they were that doesn't sound right to me um but i did a little boy those were always kind of religious theme things and it was a little boy with a fishing pole and that was my very first cross stitch and I'm not near Helen I don't know about Aaron but Helen is prolific <laughs> I'm and not I'm a start and people ask how I stitch so much I'm not prolific housekeeper <laughs> which leaves time <laughs> for more <laughs> I say you got your priorities right yes how about you Aaron? Yeah, um, I married into cross stitch. Oh. So my mother in law taught me how to and um, Shannon Christine is mm -hmm. my sister in law. So she's already designing and she 
got me into that side of things. So, so how long have you been designing then? Um, I've been, she was taking some of my like artwork in the very beginning, but designing on my own, it's just been over a year. March of last year was my oh, start. Oh, wow. And you've got so many fabulous designs out already. That's Thank really, you. really a testament. That's really cool. I really, um, really enjoy to go, it. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, you do a good job. Thank you. Helen, do a, a stitch with me. Uh, oh, do <laughs> I have to figure out how to set that up. Emmy would be in the way. It'd be a whole to do. <laughs> <laughs> I always wondered. I watch people doing stitching, and I'm like, "What the heck would I talk about while well, I stitch?" And I you know, I'm holding like up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how they do it. I'll have. I, I'm like. I just think I would be really boring. <laughs> I saw I saw that Elizabeth Ann joined, and I always tease her that she does her vlogs, and I love Liz's vlogs. And I'm like, my vlog would be so boring. No one would want to. Like, here we are at the pickup line again. Here we are at the grocery store. Like, it would be very boring. Uh, yeah, she's always she's she's amazing. Uh, oh, Gloria and Pat. Yep, I was okay. It just didn't sound right to me. Um, no, go Helen, no housework. All right. <laughs> all, right, all right, I think, have we covered everything? Guys, do you have any I think questions? unless anyone had any more questions. No, we'll, I think we can wrap up. Yeah, I, we'll give it a I will try to put out, um, I think we can save this video to post, and then I can figure out how to get that link to the Google form. The Google form link is on my last um, floss tube video right in the description box. And actually I think it's in mine, Aaron's and Carla's. So um, if you go there, you can find that link to sign up if you're interested. And like we said, that just lets Carla know, am I gonna need to order a little, little more floss? You know, the charts are no problem. She can print, she has PDFs, those are easy. It's the floss. Um, so she kind of knows what to order in and then we're going to use the hashtag B farm S A L. We all know hashtags have been not working the best. Um, uh, but if you tag us in your pictures, mm -hmm. then we'll definitely see them. Yeah. So. Yep. And, uh, we really do hope you share your progress, um, and your stitching and your finishes and just a, a recap of the dates. We're going to start opening up sales on this coming Tuesday, April 9th. Yeah. Maybe a little before that. Maybe a little People before. I gotta, get, I gotta make sure my flight gets back from Pittsburgh from the retreat. And then um, I'll ship out just as fast as I can. And the official start date for everybody to start stitching is Tuesday, April 23rd. Yep. And Helen will have a floss tube that day and she'll announce that too. Um, if you don't fill out the form, you of course can still buy the chart yep. and participate. Just go to cobwebcorner.com and um it'll be there in just a few days yep. yeah. all right i think that's it. it so thank you everyone for for joining our first time yes <laughs> yep all right thanks helen for doing right. this yes thank uh, you, thanks thank everybody you. for joining good night good everybody night. Bye, -bye. bye guys bye